a cautionary tale on a national level. Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Mackenzie Henderson. A coronavirus outbreak at two events hosted by The Crossing has caught the attention of the CDC, where researchers say they have confirmed 180 people got sick. But they say that number is likely underreported due to lack of cooperation with the investigation. We get details tonight from WGEM's Rebecca Duffy. She is live in Quincy with more. Rebecca. Dylan and Mackenzie, this is the CDC report that the that was released just yesterday. It blames a lack of prevention protocol uh, by the uh, for, by the crossing for the summer's outbreak and a lack of cooperation when it came to contact tracing. The CDC report centers on what didn't happen here at the crossing youth camp in Schuyler County, Illinois, back in June. Camp organizers did not require proof of COVID-19 vaccination, testing, or mask wearing, according to the CDC. If we, we do the things that we need to do, we can stop these kind of spreads from coming in. John Campos with the Adams County Health Department was involved with investigating the outbreak at the camp that spilled over to a men's conference at the crossing in Quincy after a staff member who attended the camp went to the men's conference while sick. If Social distancing and mask wearing can just be imperative. If we were all doing these kind of things, the, the virus wouldn't be an issue for us. But unfortunately, uh, you know, that's, that's not necessarily how the entire culture works. There were 180 positive cases from the camp and men's conference, but the report revealed that the number is likely underestimated because some people who were exposed did not get tested or participate in contact tracing. The CDC did not have access to the full list of attendees because the CDC says the crossing wouldn't cooperate. I think it, I think making sure that you're answering those calls and doing your part to protect your community is just the moral thing to do. With reduced access to people involved, the CDC estimates 1,127 people across at least four states and 18 counties were exposed to COVID-19, traced back to the two events. Campo said reports like this from the CDC can protect people's health. When we identify trends and we are able to track the virus, we can protect lives because people are unfortunately passing away from these. Now, I reached out to Crossing Leadership today for an interview, but they declined the offer. Live in Quincy, Rebecca Duffy, WGEM News.